Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Chijin here and welcome back to Reengineering, where today's challenge has been Space Chess. And as you guys can see right in front of me, I have two variants. On the left side we have Space Chess and on the right side we have Space Checkers. Now this uses pretty simple mechanics including the merge block and the connectors to keep the pieces in place. So let's begin first with Chess. So you'll see here that we have a board full of pieces as well as these two cursor hands. These two cursor hands is what the players will use to mostly move the pieces. They will have a merge block on the bottom here that you can connect to the pieces on the top, lock it in place, and then move it around the board to see fit, and then you unlock it, and it will snap into place using the connectors on the base here with their magnetic forces, like you see them doing right now. The other side will do the same thing, but first let's go over the pieces here. First up we have the pawn, which covers the first row of chess. Quite basic looking, nothing too special about them. In the back corners here we have the castles, then we have the knights, then the bishops, then the king and the queen. That's the basics of the pieces. I'm not really going to tell you guys how they move around. If you haven't played chess, then this probably isn't for you. But uh, nonetheless, I'll show you guys how the actual moving of the pieces works. So let me get inside the blue hand here, and let me move a pawn up on the board. Now if you didn't know anything about chess, the pawn pieces can have the chance to move two spaces if you so wish at the beginning of a game. So let me click this piece down here, and let me move it up the board a little bit. First things first, I will turn on the finger grab key. I can also make it a group here called finger grab, so it always appears at the top, if that makes it easier for you guys to see. So finger grab, we will turn it on, then we'll go down here, and we'll connect ourselves with the pawn piece that we want to move. I figured using a hand like this would be rather comedic, so I thought I'd just leave it in for the sake of it. It was merely an eternal joke with a friend of mine, however, it turned out that it worked quite well for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pieces, two pieces forwards here, and then once it's locked in, I'll let go of the piece, and then move on to letting the other player take their turn. So finger grab, off, release the piece, and now I can fly back and watch the red person take their turn. That is the basics of Space Chess. So next we'll be moving on to Checkers. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know the rules of checkers other than what goes on the board. So on either side of here we have the blue and the white pieces. I didn't go with red because the background's red and that would look kind of confusing. Uh, so I've decided to go with white and blue. Now I do know that when the pieces reach the other end of the field, they can get a king piece, which is the pieces back here. They're slightly larger and I'm not entirely too sure what they do. I probably should have researched it a little bit beforehand. But uh... Checkers isn't really my sort of game, I more so prefer chess to be honest with you, and I haven't really played checkers before, but I did look up the basics on how the board is laid out, laid out and the pieces needed to actually play checkers. Yet again, it uses the same mechanics with the hand grabbing the pieces to move them around the board, and they lock in simply by using the connectors down the bottom here. Each piece is equipped with a few gyroscopes to keep it steady, and a few reactors to power on the connector here. You can lock them into the connectors if you so wished, however I just thought I'd leave it unlocked so they can hover there in the magnetic state. So that basically does it for today's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like Space Chess let me know with a like down below and before I end today's video I would like to apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've had a lot of family stuff going on including my nan coming up who I haven't seen for about uh, three years now I think, so I am quite busy with my nan and other family members as well. Who have popped up uh, in the past week or so. Uh, so hopefully I'll be getting back to more content come next week. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching. And by the way, if you didn't already know, I am live streaming more frequently now. I never used to do it, but I am doing it now and I am thoroughly enjoying it. I have live streamed Space and News quite a few times past few days and it's been a hell of a lot of fun talking with you guys whilst building my creations. So if you guys want to check me out on a live stream, There'll be a link down below for my Twitch channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, stay awesome, and take care.